Hello guys, welcome back for some front porch spring decorating and probably the entryway as well. Just all of the spaces that make the first impression when my family comes home or when friends come over, we're gonna be decorating for spring today. It is a gorgeous day, like absolutely stunning outside. We have not had weather like this in weeks. It has been so rainy, so I thought I'm gonna take advantage, get my butt outside, and get our front porch back together. But first I needed to come into our shed for a couple of things. I need this to kind of sweep off the front step. And then I also wanted to come in here for our bunny. I wanted to use this on the step because I felt like it's so cute for spring and almost like a little pop of Easter as well. So we're gonna take these up to the step and get it put together. <gasps> this literally just dropped and didn't break. I'm so lucky. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we've got going on out here. Let me step back so I can show you a whole lot of nothing. We literally haven't done anything with our front step since we took down our Christmas decor. And it's just looking sad, dirty, and lonely. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know All in this, I Okay, so I was at TJ Maxx the other day looking for some evergreen outdoor topiary type things to put in our planters out here, which I did find and they are absolutely gorgeous although I have ordered some replacements on Amazon because I found a four pack for cheaper and so I'll probably return the TJ Maxx ones but anyway I did find them and also accidentally came across this beauty it is gorgeous it is just this neutral checkered woven kind of scatter rug and I thought it would be perfect to use as a layering mat with our front door mat here on the front step. The goal was that it would completely take up the entire space and just make an interesting base for our front door mat to go on top of. We got this mat from Target last year I think and it was a bit pricey. I think it was like $28 to buy up front but it has lasted so so long it's very neutral and so instead of spending $13 once a month to replace like a, a regular mat I don't even know what material those are made out of but they last like maybe 30 days around our house we got this one that's woven and it's held up great so we're going to reuse it again this year but I just wanted to freshen up the space with a new layering mat underneath it was only $17 so I'm gonna try this out see if it works on the step and layers nicely with the mat that we have and then set those topiaries in the planters show me where the ending goes honest honestly don't I should be the last to know Thank you. 
And then, like I said, I do have this bunny from last year. If I can remember where we got it and it's still available, I'll link it online because it is so cute and obviously very durable since I dropped it earlier and it didn't break. I want to say it was a hardware store, but I'm not 100% certain. So I'll do a little digging and if it's still available, I'll link it in the description box. But I have this that I'm going to put on one side of the steps between the two planters the larger one and the smaller one and then I found this guy also in the outdoor section at TJ Maxx and he's just so cute he's made out of this like mossy material plaster underneath he is made for the outdoors so he's outdoor safe and I'm going to put him next to the taller planter right next to the front door Hello, Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't Okay, so to style the entryway, I found this really large vase at home goods for a steal of a deal it was only thirty dollars and it inspired me to basically start putting this entire space together i thought that this would balance out that lamp at the other end really well and just kind of even out the height so we have two taller items on each side but then i also found so many more good things between home goods tj maxx and target over the last couple of weeks and i actually already showed Shared that in a massive spring decor haul and also shared some styling ideas and how I think that I will use those pieces in the video that I posted before this so if you haven't watched it already definitely go check it out but I got a ton of great stuff I'm gonna mix it in with some things that I already had just some staple pieces layering pieces things like that but I'm going to put this on this end of the entryway table here and just kind of create a little grouping of decor and move that way down the entire length of the entryway table until I have the entire thing exactly how I want it. Okay, seriously, I am loving the way that this is turning out so far. And before we finish it up, I just wanted to take a second to walk you through what I'm doing and kind of my thought process and how I'm putting this together and styling this entryway table. This was such a problem space for me for so long. We got this entryway table almost a year ago now and I absolutely love it. It fills the space so perfectly. It's 
gorgeous it's just such a classic look but also still a little bit trendy and modern and it's been one of our favorite pieces of furniture that we have ever purchased for our home both Derek and I love it that much but it is a lot longer of a table than I'm used to and the styling felt a little more involved and it took me a while to figure it out so if you are in that same kind of boat i just wanted to share what i've been doing and what's been working for me so as you can see i started out with this little grouping of decor over here and i kind of take this in zones or stations maybe i just break up the table in increments and style those increments one at a time trying to keep in mind a color palette and keeping things balanced as I go and then it kind of comes together instead of trying to do like look at it as two sides or make the spaces larger making it into smaller more bite-sized pieces has definitely made this more manageable for me or achievable so I was working over here first and this vase from home goods i just have to say it one more time my favorite find ever it is so beautiful it fills this space so nicely next to this tabletop olive tree and the price i just i it can't be beat so if you have a home goods near you and you like it run out there it fills this space so beautifully next to this tabletop olive tree that adds a nice pop of contrast and also a little bit of color i stacked that on some books to just kind of group everything together and make it look like it is supposed to be there and then next to it i set this wooden bowl that we are using for our keys and chapstick this keeps this space super functional and it is the closest zone to the front door which I was keeping in mind so as soon as we walk in the door there's somewhere to set our keys our wallets our sunglasses chapsticks anything that we might have in hand and it works you guys this definitely helps to minimize the clutter and it just becomes a space where those things are meant to be and so we lose our keys lifts often and we have things scattered about less often when I do this and even though it is absolutely beautiful and aesthetic and that was curated and intentional it still keeps the space functional so I'm not trading out functionality for aesthetic or for a beautiful curated home it's still lived in even if it doesn't look lived in so then once I had all of this together I wanted to balance that out on the other side so I started working over here on the opposite side and I started with a lamp that was already on the table I loved the ceramic base and the tassel here just adds a little extra layer of texture I do believe that this is still available so if you like it I will try and link it down below but it is absolutely gorgeous it is off-white and then the shade is kind of like a beigey linen so it just adds a little bit of interest into the space and the colors and is kind of balancing out perfectly with this off-white vase over here and then to create a little grouping of decor on this side I layered some photo frames I found this at Hobby Lobby and then I grabbed this wall art from the hearth and hand collection this year it is a two-pack so I still have one that I'll be able to use somewhere else in my home which will help create like an entire kind of vision or more cohesive flow throughout my home but I put that here and just layered these together and with the lamp I think that they work beautifully I have a warm light bulb in here so I'm not going to turn it on because that will turn everything so yellow but I love that because in the evening when the sun starts to go down we turn this on and we don't use any of the other lights in this space the entryway is open with the living room so it's a pretty large open space and we don't put any more lights in here and it just makes it feel so cozy and relaxing and like we're winding down for the evening so again that keeps this functional with the lamp but still beautiful with the decor that I've around it so I've got these two zones taken care of and the last bit is the middle part so I'm gonna go ahead and marry the two together and create a little grouping right here that will keep your eye moving through the entire piece of furniture instead of stopping it'll just move along and flow beautifully and make it seem like that's how it's supposed to be